So what is Parallax and how can we use it to give depth to our games? Let's talk about it. Okay, so Parallax is basically this really cool effect that exists in real life where, for example, if you've ever been on a bus or a train and you look outside the window, you'll notice that the things that are closer to the bus or the train move closer to the same speed as the bus or the train, and the things that are further away move a lot slower. And if it's really far away, it almost seems like it's not moving at all. So for example, if there's mountains in the background, sometimes it can seem like it's not even moving. And this effect is one of the things that helps give our world depth, and we can use it in our games to give our games depth. So I'm in Construct here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to show you guys how I did this for this uh, example. So what I have here is I have three layers and they're each labeled foreground, midground, and background. And you can technically do more than this. I'm just using this as an example. The minimum I would say you would want to have is at least three layers, uh, but you could definitely do more than that and you can really give a cool sense of depth. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this foreground layer and we're going to go to this menu over here and we're going to look for a scroll and zoom. And in this menu, you see a thing called parallax and you have two numbers. They're both set to 100% by default. And the number on the left side is going to be your X axis. So left and right. And the number on the right side is going to be your Y axis. So up and down. And uh, you can actually set it so that there's parallax left and right and up and down. But for this example, we're just going to use parallax for the left and right. And so for our foreground layer, we're going to leave it at its default, which is 100 X 100. So that's basically just going to make it so that it's moving at normal speed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the mid ground layer and go to the same menu. And we're going to change the X axis so that it's set to 30%, which is going to significantly slow down our mid ground, which in this case is these bushes over here. And then finally, for the background, we're going to set the parallax to 10% for the X axis, which are these hills back here. And that 10% is going to make it so that it almost seems like they're not moving at all, but they are still moving a little bit. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done. We can click play and see how it looks. And as you can see here, now we have a really cool parallax effect. And it's really that easy to add parallax in Construct. And another nice little touch that you can add is the things that are further in the background, the further you go back, you can lighten the color of them. So it kind of adds this cool fog effect. I've only done it a little bit here, but you can sort of play around with it to see what looks best for your game. But yeah, I would definitely recommend giving parallax a try.